This is Rory, designer of Titan Aero, so no one better to introduce what it is. Titan Aero is an integrated heatsink for Titan that bolts directly on instead of the conventional plastic lid and it has all the cooling power of V6 in a much more compact package. It looks great. Overall, Titan Aero is a much more compact and shorter package. The distance from the drive gear to the melt zone is much shorter, increasing the precision of extrusion, particularly with flexibles and also increasing reliability in that area. Titan Aero is a stiffer, stronger system. Because there's no plastic groove mount socket and a long overhanging nozzle, it's much more able to accurately and precisely translate the motion system's movements into movements of the nozzle rigidly. Almost as soon as Titan was finished, we had realized that there was a space for optimization and bringing together two kind of sets of components. And then it wasn't really until Rory came along that we really had the kind of engineering cycle time to actually be able to take up and set about that idea. Because it's, um, it's a deceptively complex design and manufacturing problem, I think. Yeah, um, in particular the sort of thermal performance, the, the V6 has gone through quite a lot of work to get it to you know, dissipate a lot of heat and trying to emulate that in something um, like this has taken a bit of bit of work. Roy, should we talk about art and design that's gone into Titan Aero? Yes, as you can see we've uh, put the fan on at 45 degrees. Um, that's for no particular reason, that's just to look cool. Eventually we decided that the blue lights were too much so we have removed those. So you do get a lovely clear fan. In terms of design objectives, first and kind of obviously keep all of the headline features of V6 and Titan. So all metal, easily changed out nozzles, ecosystem of you know different materials. Also having all of the core features of Titan, three to one gearing ratio, custom machine hob, everything running on bearings, just generally nice, really easy to use. It's very compact in X and Y, and particularly Z, so you can really maximize your build space and your build volume. Following on from being more compact is working better with flexibles. Um, the shorter you get that distance between the drive gear and the melt zone, the more reliable and accurate you're going to be able to print all filaments, but especially flexibles. Well, I mean, it's all around it's just a tighter package really, isn't it? Yeah, and it's, it's nice looking as well. I think it's got that kind of classic E3D 100% CNC machined raw aluminium. In terms of availability, there's an upgrade path from conventional Titan and V6 as well as a full kit. Um, available in 175 and 3 mil. As it uses the V6 heat brake, you have the full range of blocks, nozzles and sensors. Bare, bare metal. Bare metal. So metal.